Well, that took forever. Ooh, don't stall. I haven't seen any exciting or nice cars yet, which is kind of shocking. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of nice cars on campus. There's someone with an Audi R8. There are a few Nissan GTRs. Someone here has a Liberty Walk GTR, and I've only seen it once. I don't know if that means that whoever owns it uh, doesn't go to school here or doesn't live here, but it was ridiculous to see. Oh, God. Still no nice cars. Bunch of people in suits, though. What kind of a Beamer is this? Or is it Bimmer? Is it Beamer or Bimmer? Beamer Bimmer. 328XI. Now, forgive me if I'm mistaken, but anything that isn't a 330... Wait, no. What were the trim levels with the with this generation of 3 Series? Because that's not an inline 6, I don't think. That's isn't, isn't, that, isn't that an inline 4? I only care about the 335s and the 340i's, so... <laughs> That one's an all-wheel drive example, which is really cool. I love that my exhaust crackles and pops. Hmm, it's starting to get darker, which is what happens when you go deeper and deeper into the afternoon. Oh my god, this road is horrible. What are you doing stopping in the road like that? I know I have to yield to you, but that doesn't make sense. Oh my god. I like to not shift in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> I just like to have the engine scream at me and go like, ah, inefficiency, you're using too much gas. <laughs> Was I hearing an engine being revved? Oh, just that diesel truck. <laughs> That's less interesting. <laughs> Goes to diesel truck. Oh, look, a Jeep. Oh, and another Jeep that just obstructed my view of the Jeep. Okay, so the doors are locked. This car does not do a lot of things automatically. In fact, I don't think it does anything automatically, except for the daylight, daytime running lights or whatever they're called. Um... And what's funny about that is that's got that's gotten me pulled over before. Um, I think it was like a couple weeks ago, or maybe three. I don't know. I don't have a sense of time. But some some amount of time ago, I went out late enough that there was no one else on the road and I was going to like a come and go or a Casey's to get a snack because I was I was hungry I was up late and frankly I was also kind of bored so I decided I'd go up, go out for a drive because that's always fun and uh, get some consumable items and so I go out to do that I'm driving around there's no one on the road completely deserted, save for every single damn squad car you could find. Like, everyone was out patrolling. It was like, cop happy hour. So, um, and I didn't really have a problem with that. I was behaving. But yeah, so, there were cops everywhere, and because I was by myself and I wasn't recording, though that doesn't really make a difference to this, I suppose, but I was, I was talking to myself, as I usually do when I'm by myself. Um, we all do it. Don't, don't pretend. Do not be ashamed. And I say to myself out loud, wow, there are a lot of cops tonight. And lo and behold, literally, like, not even a second goes by after I say that. And so not a second goes by after I say that. And red and blue lights start flashing behind me. And I go, oh, great. Like, what was I doing? Was I going too fast? Like, cause that's something I do occasionally. Um, but I wasn't, I wasn't speeding. Like I wasn't doing anything on purpose. Was I being clueless? Was I going too fast? 
I mean, I don't know why I would have been doing that because there were cops everywhere. And so he walks up, so the, the officer walks up to my window and I'm like, I don't know what this is for. I don't know what's happening. I don't like, do they think that this car was used in a robbery or something? And so he walks up to me and he goes, your lights are off. And I go, oh, I'm sorry. They're not automatic. And so I turn them on and they're functioning. He goes, oh, okay, fine. And so, and he asked me what I'm doing. I say, I'm just going out to get a snack. Um, and then he sees uh, uh, this thing on my wrist. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, because um, you might not be old enough, uh, these things are what you wear when you go into a club. And um, whilst this particular one, it actually says no drinking on it. So he sees that and he goes, oh, uh, what is that? Have you been out drinking? And I go, crap. Because <laughs> I hadn't. I hadn't done anything. I wasn't doing anything illegal. But because I had the wristband on, he had to ask me. And then, because of that, he was legally obligated, I'm assuming, he was legally obligated to have me do an alcohol test. Even though I wasn't driving badly, I wasn't, I wasn't drunk, I wasn't slurring my words, but he still had to check because I had the thing on my wrist. And so I'm asked to get out of my car, and so I, I just cooperate, you know. Like, I, I'm, I'm in no hurry. It was freaking like, midnight or some crap. Like, <laughs> whatever I was doing, I was clearly not in a hurry to get to. And I just, I told him I was going to get a snack anyways. And so, and so he has me get out of the car to do the, uh, the alcohol test, the eye test, where he moves his finger around for a good maybe 10 minutes in the cold. Um, because I didn't bring a jacket, because I didn't, I hadn't been planning on getting out of the car for that long. So that was, uh, that was funny. Um, and then because he had a trainee officer, uh, with him, he also decided to have the novice officer do a drug test as well, where I had to, like, stand and close my eyes or something. I think the test to see if I would fall on my face, I'm not quite sure. And, um, I was tired, so I was kind of worried I was going to fail that test. Um, but I didn't. Because I, I, I wasn't high and I wasn't drunk, so I would assume those tests are foolproof. But I, I the only way I, I can know for sure if they aren't is if I am sober in every sense of the word, and then I get arrested for being intoxicated while driving. Uh, but hopefully that just does not happen. I'd rather be ignorant than know if that's possible. By the way, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just driving randomly. But it's getting darker. There's the turbo whistle. Sometimes like, and so when you get, when you really get on it and the turbo starts to spool a lot, let's put the boost gauge back on. Boost gauge back on. Um, when you start to really get on it and then take your foot off the gas, uh, the, uh, the turbo will go like whoosh. It'll be like whoosh. And I don't think I can hear it right now because of the wind noise and other crap. I am holding really, really still. This is me being as still as humanly possible. And whatever vibrations you're seeing, I can't do anything about. I'd love to use these glasses for like a road trip. I feel like that would be really cool. So. This upcoming summer, summer of 2018, I want to drive down to, to uh, Los Angeles, I almost said Las Vegas, to uh, Los Angeles and get my car wrapped and a few other, a few other cool things. Um, yeah. And so I, I, I'm either gonna have the car shipped there and fly over or drive over, depending on which is ultimately cheaper. So I'm really, really excited about that. 